presentation I've set this long piece trust. Today I'm going to take you through the latest in our engineering at home series which is going to be a marble run. We've got a lot of these up on our social media, on our YouTube channel, so go and check out the other challenges once you've done this. So, what you're going to need to make your marble run. I've just got half a cardboard box, this cereal one, this is just to act as your backboard, this is what you're going to stick everything onto. So to stick it on you're going to need some tape or some glue. Also, you'll need some scissors and make sure any cutting is done with adult supervision, okay? Use these safely. If you want to make things a bit more interesting, I've got some tubes. So this is just the inside of a toilet roll or I've made one out of paper. Probably the most important thing, you're going to need a marble. However, don't worry if you don't have one. I've made one out of tin foil and I'll show you how to do that later. Or another good alternative is a ping pong ball, okay? You'll just have to make sure everything's a little bit bigger for this one. Okay, so the first step that you can do once you've got your backboard cut is to maybe trace out your design, okay? You can think about where it's gonna go, put pencil lines where you think your steps and your tunnels and your tubes are gonna go, and that's a really good way to plan it out beforehand. However, it's not necessary. Feel free to freehand it, go with what you think is gonna work, and adjust and make improvements as you go along. So, let's say you don't have a marble. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make one out of tin foil like I did. First of all, just rip a sheet of tin foil off. This is mine. Rip a bit smaller off and scrunch that up, okay? You're gonna scrunch that up really, really tight. It's gonna be really small. You're gonna try and make this as spherical as possible, so as round as possible, so it looks as much like a ball. Might need to rub it in between your hands like that, okay? Might need parents' help for this. It might be a little bit tricky. Okay, so once that's round, rip off a bit more. Put that over it and do the same thing, okay? So you're gonna keep doing the same thing and keep doing it in small increments until it is fully made and that should make it quite round, okay? There are many ways for your marble to get to the bottom of your run. I'm just gonna show you a few and then hopefully you can mix and match and make yours look really, really interesting. So the first one that I'm gonna do is by making a bit of a step. So I've just cut out this strip of cardboard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it so that you've got a tab. So if you just make a line with your ruler on the back and just fold it up and over. I'm going to do that on one side. I'm going to turn it over. I'm also going to do that on the other side. So mine's just the width of my ruler. Yours can be the width however wide you would like it. So now that I've got my step folded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm going to get my backboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look... So there's one that I've done already. It's got a hole in that's gonna go onto my tube. And then where's it gonna come out? It's gonna come out here. So I'm gonna make sure mine goes there. And that's gonna be the next step in the run. So when you're sticking this on, one of these folds is gonna be your tab. So that is what is gonna go onto the backboard and get stuck down. And the other one is to make sure the marble doesn't come off the front, okay? The most important thing to remember is that all your steps have to be on an angle. So as you can see, this one faces downwards and then this one also goes down on an angle. Also, make sure your marble has a free path so you can see there's a hole into the tube so it can get through and then roll down here. So don't forget that you can customise yours and make it look really good. So as you can see here, I've just added a cover over this tunnel and put our name and logo on it. Feel free to make yours look really cool, loads of colours, a good background maybe, and it'll really stand out. Another way to make a step down your marble run is to cut a toilet roll tube in half and use this one the other way up and then it is a step, not a cover. So here you can see my finished one. As you can see, I've got a step, then a tube, then a tunnel, and then another step, another tunnel, add a little bit of a corner thing here because my marble kept coming off, down this last ramp into a little egg cup at the end. As you can see, I've added some designs, some colour onto it. Please make yours look as cool as possible. I'm sure yours can look a lot better than mine. Hopefully now you have a working marble run. If you did want to challenge yourself and make it a bit harder, you can make a separate different one and maybe race your marbles down. You could try and make it take the longest time possible or you could make your marble take an alternative route by having a tab a bit like on train tracks and that would make it switch routes within your marble run. 
Once they're done, make sure you make them colourful, customise them, make them as cool as you can, and send us all your pictures and videos to the hashtags and to our social media. Okay, I hope you had fun. Please come back next week for the next challenge.